Okay. Well, it's kind of hard to see. But there's some big gaps on one of the colors, which is the magenta, I do believe. So we're going to clean the head. Okay, I have a continuous inking system, and um, I need to clean the print head. Here's a little jugs down here. So what we're going to do is press the little button here. And now that it's at the um, pull-out point there, I'm going to shut off the power and unplug it. Okay, I pulled all the cartridges out, and here is where I'm going to get down in there and do my cleaning. Um, I'm using 50% Windex, just regular Windex, and 50% dill still water, and uh, I'm going to set up a um, paper towel down there in just a moment. Okay, after I unplugged it, unplugged it that is, I can slide this over. I've stuck some paper towel in there. It's going to catch the runoff, the drippings from the head cleaner. So I'm going to slide that over and then we're going to start the cleaning. Okay, you can barely see the little nipples down in there. This is the stuff I've got off what people said on the internet, 50% uh, distilled water and 50% Windex. So I'm going to stick that over the magenta one. Put a little bit of that solution on there and see what happens. Okay, let's see what happens. Well, it was hard getting that uh, syringe on there, so I went and got a little piece of clear tubing. That slides exactly over the hole. Uh, most people don't have this. This is fuel tubing from a remote control helicopter. Anyway, it fits perfectly over the hole. And uh, I'm squirting the fluid down there now. And while I'm at it, I'm going to squirt a few of the, uh, actually all the uh, colors, not just the magenta that's sticking. Hope this works. Okay, there's a little nipples down in there that uh, I hooked a little hose to. And I've squirted the solution. It's sitting over a paper towel. And um, here's kind of the little apparatus. It's a little filler they gave me, plus a little tubing. Stuck it right down on those little nipples. Slowly squirted the solution down in there. Gonna let it sit for a little bit. Gonna pull it out, see if we can make this printer work again. Okay, I've slid that um, carriage out of the way. Let's take a look at what we got here. Yowza. Okay, the paper towel is soaked, so the stuff did go through. And once again, let's see if it works. Okay, I put the cartridges back in and we'll give it a test print it's just been sitting a couple minutes here and let's see what it does Still's got some gaps there, so I might have to do this all over again. We'll do a couple cleaning cycles, see if that fixes it, and then we'll go from there. Okay, I couldn't get that to work, so what I did was stuck a piece of folded up paper towel down there again, and squirted some of the fluid on that paper, which is the uh, Windex and still water put it on there and then brought the carriage over to the paper towel and uh, also 
I put the same fluid I'm going to show you here in a minute when that thing moves right down on that little pad that it just jumped. Okay, right down on that black pad, I put the um, couple of drips of that on there. Clean that off a few times with a paper towel. And um, now it's printing. It prints all but there's one gap on one of them but uh, the photographs that are printing are, are beautiful so I might go through another cleaning cycle oh, by the way I went through about uh, five cleaning cycles to get it to that point and now she's printing photographs again this is one of the photographs I printed this is just on plain you know office paper you can see right there is I did uh, the uh, nozzle check here and I did a nozzle check here and what I do with that is I just go ahead and print on that same piece of paper to kind of see how it looks and it looks like a photograph so it's working just dandy so really uh, the thing I do believe that fixed is not squirting the fluid through the nozzle but actually letting the nozzle sit on the paper towel that was soaked with the cleaning solution